What's going on everybody? This is another pod review. This time coming to coming from Refining Fire Chilies. See the name there. Let's jump onto the website www.superhotchilies.com. Got an interesting pod I don't know too much about. This one's called the Ahi Panka. Hope I'm saying it right. Or Panka. P A N C A. You can catch that on the website. Sorry, a little sweat. I just came in, just did some work, and then I, I worked out. So a little sweaty. Figured I'd do this thing. I'm sure I don't think it's that much of a that hot. We'll just bang this thing out. Anyway, Dodgy Panka, also known as the Ahi, excuse me, the Ahi. Let's get that right. Ahi Panka. Also known as the ahi brown, grows very large, up to six inches in length and over an inch wide. They ripe to a blackish brown and are often found dried in the Peruvian market. They are known for their rich, smoky flavor. Great for adding in barbecue sauces, barbecue rubs, soups, stews, or grilled and stuffed. Ideal chili for making a Mexican mole. If you grow in a container, use a large one, at least 15 gallon up, because these plants will get over six feet tall. And just knowing that, being six feet tall and being a bunch of pods like this big, you're probably going to have to get a good pot and stake that sucker. We'll just pop this off right here. The big old. Smells good so far. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It smells nice, man. Very fresh, man. It does not smell like a hot pepper. Uh, this smells very bell type or fruity. When I say fruity, I mean like, like a bell, bell, a bell smelling, or you maybe mean like a green jalapeno. Because sometimes you hear fruity with other things, but I'm trying to compare it in a way, more like a jalapeno or like a, maybe even a, um, a red pepper. Anyway. Good. Very good. Our seeds. That's a pretty tasty pot. It's pretty thick wall too. So you could probably slice it almost all the way through, like say three quarters full, and just leave it open and put your stuff on there. Maybe some uh, some cream cheese and some uh, bacon or cream cheese and some scallops or something like that. You could put it right on there and eat it like that. It's um, I, it, to me that the the flavor I'd say is a good eight and a half. It's really up there, but as, as good as a chili can pretty much taste, maybe an eight and a half, pushing a nine. Heat, I say, is a way down there, probably a two, maybe a three, probably more like a three, because I'd say a banana pepper would probably be like a one or negative, because <laughs> it is considered a hot pepper, banana. Um, but um, yeah, it's probably a two or three in heat, kind of like a jalapeno ish, um, but uh, very tasty. Good to do a lot of things with it. That's all I got, man. That's all I really we want to take your time. Nice little teeny burn in the mouth. Good enough to go and take my shower, get my protein shake in, and go to work. I'm out, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, questions. I appreciate it. Don't forget to do some liking, too. Later.